guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't noticed, got my mini ears on. That can mean only one thing. This is a Disney video. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience at Disneyland Paris. Now I went 10 years ago. Yeah, I was 10. It was 15, I'm now figuring out actually. I was there for the 15 year anniversary of the park. I actually got this idea from... Um, a YouTuber that I watch called Sarah from the channel That Sounds Fun. She did a video all about her time at Disneyland Paris. Uh, I thought that was a really good idea, especially with the 25th anniversary coming up at the minute. So yeah, without further ado, I thought I'd just jump in. I've got my computer set up right next to the camera here with all my little clips. Now, I will be inserting clips, but please bear in mind that it was 10 years ago. We weren't into cameras and all that sort of thing. So the video quality is terrible i'll say it now it is. audio isn't terrible you can make out what songs are playing and during the parade and things like that but the video itself is not great i warn you i will be inserting pictures as well doing a little little voiceover over top explaining each picture i went to disneyland paris back in 2007 with my mum and dad as it turns out uh it was under 10 to go free which is the only reason we went actually they actually surprised me with the entire trip. Like I was the only person that didn't know that I was going to Disneyland Paris. My my brothers all knew. My best friend knew. Um, but what happened is we got the ferry over to Calais. We drove down. Um, I was un under the impression we were having a day trip to Paris, which back then I didn't realise was a big deal. Just driving to Paris, having a having a day trip. Um, we went up the Eiffel Tower and we did all that sort of stuff. But you know, boring. Not what this video is about. And then when we left Paris and I thought we were just driving back to the ferry, I fell asleep in the car and when I woke up, we were driving through the Disneyland sign, yeah. Um, I do remember that. They've got a similar thing to what is at Disney World in Florida. Like they've got the little sign, if I, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, like a Disneyland sign. Uh, and we drove through there and we drove to our hotel. We were staying at Santa Fe. Hotel Santa Fe is in fact still at Disney. From Googling it, it's more cars themed now, I believe. Whereas when I was there, there was like a massive picture of a cowboy um, <laughs> above the name for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Um, the uh, property site on the hotel site, there was all little things that I remember Stitch's um, aircraft was like crashed into the ground nearby my um, room, by our hotel room, and I loved that. I love Lilo and Stitch. I really do. Hmm. Now this hotel, I actually really liked this hotel. It was, it, I'll assume it was like one of the budget kind of hotels, budget friendly ones. But yeah, it had a buffet, I, and having a buffet it was great. I really liked. They had this chocolate pudding. I can't remember what it was for breakfast or dinner. Maybe all of them. Loved the hotel to be honest, it was great, really good theming. I believe we got a bus from the hotel to the park on the first day, the Disneyland Park. Um, Magic Kingdom, I suppose it's called. When I first think of Disneyland Paris, I immediately go to when you get to the park and there's the big hotel, the big Disneyland hotel that's like the dream stay when you go to Disneyland Paris. I mean, I've only been but once, but as far as I'm aware, that is like the dream hotel for anyone that wants to go to Disneyland Paris and then in front of it they had this I think it was Mickey but like I think it was Mickey as the Cheshire Cat maybe I don't know I'll insert a picture or a clip and you can tell me what it's meant to be I think it is Mickey um on a like a grass outside and it was so cool I think the eyes moved and everything like it was awesome that was really cool I vividly remember loving the fact that you could go inside the castle and like you could go up the castle you could climb it and look out from all the turrets i loved that like looking down across the park a really cool thing being able to climb inside of it obviously you can't as far as i'm aware you can't do that in california or or florida or anything like that so i think that's really cool i don't know if you can still do that there now one of my definite favorite parts has to have been the alice in wonderland themed area i loved the maze i think it was a maze from what I remember, it was a maze. I don't know now. Yeah, I loved, um, obviously you couldn't meet, like, the, ca the caterpillar or anything like that. Like, I did get a picture next to the caterpillar and he was, like, talking and things like that. And that was really cool. And he, I, from what I remember, he spoke in English, actually. It was pretty, it was actually pretty bilingual, which I still, to this day, think that's really cool. Like, it's, it was in Paris, so I expected everything to be in French. But actually wasn't. There was everything 
from what I remember was said in English as well as French and I think Spanish as well which I think that's awesome like my next favourite bits is the parade in um in the Magic Kingdom area I've got a lot of clips of that I loved the parade I think it was so cute I don't know I feel like it was a lot more interactive than the Florida one is now being now having been to Florida I don't know we like Tigger oh Tigger he was on his stilts which was so cool he was on the um bouncy stilts things like jumping about the place and he was just like sat in front of us really casually like chill on the float and I, I loved it I loved Tigger on the second day, we actually got a bus across to the Walt Disney Studios Park, which was where sort of all the Toy Stories and like, like, um, I suppose kind of like Hollywood Studios. I think it's kind of the same vibe as that. It had like the more, more intense rides, I suppose. I remember one, this Armageddon ride. Cried my little heart out on that ride. It was terrifying. You were just stood in like this circle with like everyone else just stood around. And I've never actually seen the film Armageddon, um, but I assume something crashes because in this, like, it was, I guess it was kind of a simulator and there was fire and the floor was shaking. Little 10 year old me couldn't handle it. I was crying, man. It was horrible. And then there was the uh, backlot tour as well, which was really cool. I loved that one. And there's a part where like the water gushes down from up top. And I'm pretty sure I cried then too. I was a wimp. I was a wimp back in the day. <laughs> but we didn't really, I don't think we did many rides while we were there actually in either park. And I did like the Dumbo and there's one, the um, magic carpet ride, I think it is. And you've got the genie talking to you and it was so cool. I mean, a favourite ride had to have been Big Thunder Mountain though. Like me, mum and my dad went on that and it, it was awesome. We were all sat in the front row in our little seat, crushed in together because, you know, not made for free people. <laughs> that was awesome. That was like the, first time I'd ever been on like a big ride and I, I loved that it was it was awesome it really was I know I, I said that Thunder Mountain was my favorite ride take it back Pirates of the Caribbean oh my god the Pirates of the Caribbean ride I'm pretty sure we went on it like four or five times it was so good like it was so much better than the Florida one like, I'll say it hands hands down Disneyland Paris's Pirates of the Caribbean was incredible. It was so much more thrilling, longer as well from what I remember, a lot longer. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just the fact that I was so young and I was like, oh my God, Pirates. Like, it was just so cool. I loved that ride. Like me and my mum and dad all loved that ride. It was so good. Whilst in the Walt Disney Studios park, there's actually like this Monsters Inc bit where you could meet Sully, like, big Sully and his costume and stuff and there was a little like statue of Mike Wazowski that was really cool I met uh, met Sully he was my favorite what I loved was you just walked up to the characters you didn't have to queue to meet them or anything like if they were walking past you could just go up get a picture get your autograph like, I love that the interaction like was there a lot more than when you've got to queue to meet someone I think the, the Florida parks are a lot bigger than Paris like the Disneyland Paris park but I don't know, I just think it's a lot more intimate just being able to go up and like, hi, you know, like, hi Snow White, how are you? And her be like, she's French, so I don't know what she'd say. <laughs> I like the um the different people that are like at Disneyland Paris as well, like Pinocchio and Geppetto like had their own float and I think that's really cool and Chicken Little had his own float. Like yeah, there's nothing about Chicken Little anywhere out there, but he had his own float and I think that's really cool. And I think Disneyland Paris just showcases the um, lesser known characters, I suppose you could say. I didn't, I didn't actually meet that many though when I was out there. I think, I mean, I was quite a shy kid, so just going up to them wasn't fun for me. But looking back on it, it's, it's a lot better. Like I much prefer that. I mean, all in all, I think Disneyland Paris is like an incredible park. I know some people don't like it as much and I get I get it like for what you're paying for Disneyland Paris I know it's just as easy to save that money and go to Florida or go to California or Singapore and get the experience of going somewhere like completely different but I don't know for a first time park incredible like my love for Disney was immense after I'd been there like before I was like eh Disney but then having been there Afterwards, I was like, oh my god, Disney. Like, 
I've I've been hooked ever since I went to Disneyland Paris and it it was incredible. Like I really really liked it. I honestly did. Anyway, I am battling against the sunlight here because the sun is in fact setting behind me in that weird glowing light that you see. So I will have to say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what your views on Disneyland Paris are. If you've got any views on any of the other um, parks and any of the other countries, because I'd love to know them. Because I, I plan on going to all of them. Because yeah, I know everyone says that they plan on going to every Disney park, but like genuinely, I think I really would like to, to see the difference between them all. So please let me know any thoughts that you've got on any of them. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe, and thank you very much. Bye!